Splash! When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me swimming at the swimming pool. Right, let's go and get changed. I know, why don't I take Willy? Because we don't want him to get all wet, do we? Mummy took Willy to watch. Daddy took me into our big room. Daddy helped me put on my swimming costume. Come on, Tig. Let's go to the pool. Who's excited? What's that? You go and have a shower. We had to have a shower. The shower was like the rain. Turn around. I squealed. The pool was very, very big. There was lots of water. The water went on forever and ever and nearly out of the window. Willie and Mummy sat in chairs. Mummy waved. I waved to Mummy. Say hi, Willie. A man splashed up and down the pool like a big sea lion. I held Daddy's hand. We saw some children. The children were splashing. Daddy put on my armbands. A lady splashed with her legs. I didn't like the splashing. I want to go and turn the chairs with Mummy. I don't want to go swimming. Mummy said, why don't I take Teg to the little pool? Mummy took me to the little pool. Wooly came to. Here you go, Tig. Look. There, Tig. Why don't you have a splash around? I don't like splashing, I said. Hey, Tig. A swimming pool might seem big and strange and full of sudden splashes, but a swimming pool is just like a big, big bath. You like a bath, don't you? So make it like bath time. You like playing boats in the bath, don't you, Tig? So have fun with this boat. There she blows! Hey, Tig, now you can kneel in the water. It's much more fun. Here's another swimming game. Find the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Water in your mouth, spit it out. Well done, Tig. You found the frog. Looks like you got your face wet too. Way! Bounce the ball up and down as hard as you can and see how many splashes you can make. So now you know, water and splashing is fun. So go for it, Tig. Have a splash with Daddy in the big pool. Yes, I thought. I like the splashing. I wanted to swim in the big pool with Daddy. Oh. I like the big pool. I like the splashing. I like the water all over my face. The big sea lion man saw Willy. <laughs> it's only my toy spider, I said. I love splashes. I love swimming. I love Willy. Open wide. When I was little, my mummy took me to see the dentist. Willy came too. I made sure my teeth were really clean. Do you like going to the dentist? Yeah. yeah. Mummy said it was fun and the dentist was going to count my teeth. At the dentist, a nice lady sat behind a big desk. Hello, Tig, said the lady. That's the stickers that we've got, Tig. 
The lady said I would get a badge for having my teeth counted. We had to wait for the dentist. Lots of people were sitting on chairs. We sat next to a giggly lady. Can you show me how you brush your teeth? I showed the giggly lady how I clean my teeth. Oh, that's good. Mrs Kraken, do you want to come through? Oh. A lady asked Mrs Giggly, Come this way, please. Bye-bye, Mrs Giggly. Bye. One, two, three. In the corner of the room was a play shop. Me and some children played play shop. I did lots of counting. Hi, Tig, it's your turn now. I like the dentist. Her name was Rita. I've got some juice here that you need to gargle around your mouth and you spit in the bowl. So that washes your tooth and that dries your tooth. Rita showed me lots and lots of things. Things I'd never seen before. There's a slurpy sucker. A water shooter. Oh! Sunglasses. A polisher. It's a special, special fast electric toothbrush. It's a special electric toothbrush. Is that good? But best of all was the chair. And then right up into the sky. The chair could go up and down and back and forward like a ride at the fun fair. Right, I'm going to count your teeth now. This is my tooth counter for counting your teeth. Open wide. Please. I shut my mouth. I didn't like the tooth counter. In a minute, she said. Rita chattered and clattered. Hey, Tig. There's nothing wrong with the tooth counter. It's just a magic wand to help Rita with her counting. You'll never know how many teeth you have until you open your mouth. Opening your mouth is as easy as yawning. <sighs> Opening your mouth is as easy as eating a plum. Opening your mouth is as easy as laughing. <laughs> On. Okay, Tig. Open wide for me and we can count these teeth. Open wide, said Rita. Open wide. <gasps> Rita counted my teeth with her magic Whee! wand. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You've got 20 teeth in there. <gasps> it's only a toy spider. The lady at the desk gave me my badge. And will they have a stick? Of course they can. Oh, there you go. Well done. I wanted a badge for Wooly too. I like the dentist. Wooly likes the dentist too. I love Wooly. Shadows. When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Wooly didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. Open it up. A lamp. A lamp. Ooh, that looks lovely, Ted. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? Let's see what your new lamp is. Daddy like. plugged the light in. Then we turned the light on. Turn it off. On. And then off again. Mummy, can I make something with the box? the box? I like the box that the light came in. Mummy said I can make something with the box. I made a puppet show. I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. 
She had little beaks and feather wings. Tug. The puppet birds could fly. Do you think they're friends? No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Hey, little Jackie buds, sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep. Mummy left my new light on. Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe. But when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. The hairy monsters were still there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig, things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look, just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops! Big hairy monsters! Round and round they go. Just like the sheep. Because that's what the hairy monsters are. Just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig. No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs walking across the ceiling, they went, <gasps> ah! There's a little guy spider on the roof. I like my new light. What's this thing? I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Willy. One step at a time. When I was little, my daddy took me to buy some eggs. Hi, Dada. This is Wooly. Oh, I love Wooly. We didn't go to the shops. We went a long, long way, way to the country. Wooly. Go and get Wooly. Wooly came too. In the country, we went through a gate. We walked through some long grass. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? We walked down a long, long lane. The long, long lane was very smelly. Stinky. What's that smell, Daddy? I think it's a cow. I wanted to see the cow. I've never seen a real cow before. I think the cows are busy. Busy <laughs> mooing, I said. At the end of the lane, we saw a scarecrow. Scarecrow! Oh, what's he missing? Big hat. He put the scarecrow's hat on. Whoa, look at that hat. What do you think? Look. <laughs> Let's put him on his shoulder. Whoa. I really like the scarecrow. <laughs> I want to see the cow. I see the cow. No, we need to go and get eggs first. Daddy said no, we had to get the eggs. We came to a farm. I knocked on the door. Oh, well done. A giggly farmer opened the door. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to get the eggs just for me. You come to get some eggs? Yeah, we'd better go and see the chickens then. Okay. Come on, come on. The giggly farmer took us to see the chickens. 
I wanted to see the cow. The chickens laid some eggs for me and Daddy. We put them into a box. I picked them up and counted them. That was good, wasn't it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure. Oh, there you go. Bye bye, Farmer Giggly. The long, long lane was very smelly. Come on, Tig. I want to see the cow. Moo! Mm. Oh, what's that? A big animal was looking at us. I don't like the big animal. There's nothing to be scared of. It's all right. It's only a cow, said Daddy. Don't like cows. Too big. Come on. It's quite safe. It's behind a gate. Not past a cow, I said. Come on, we need to get home. No. Why not try it one step at a time? Wooly whispered. Tig, one step at a time, it's easy. OK, you go. <laughs> Tig, one step at a time, like Grandmother's footsteps. Come on, creep up on me. Saw you! Come on! Saw you again! Come on! Gotcha! <laughs> That was brilliant. You walked past the cow. You passed the cow, he said. Should we show the cow, Willy? <laughs> Look, Willy. Funny cow. <laughs> Silly cow. It's only my toy spider. Bye. Bye. Come on then. Home now, said Daddy. Yeah. Come on then. I like cows. And I love Willy. We've been guessing to a Sleepover. When I was little, I went to stay with my friend Angel. Hi, Angel. Oh. Mummy says, anytime you want to come home, just tell Angel's mum. See you tomorrow. No, I said, I want to stay the whole night at Angel's. I was sleeping in Angel's room. I put my pyjamas next to Angel's pyjamas. <laughs> Look what I'm wearing today. Angel showed me my bed. It was very tiny. Angel said it was a magic bed. I can't sleep there. It's a magic bed. Then we went out to play. Angel's toys were different to my toys. Angel showed me how to hula hoop. At tea time, Angel's mummy made me my favourites. Fish fingers! We sat and climb up chairs in the kitchen. Angel's kitchen was different from my kitchen. I liked Angel's kitchen. <laughs> All finished. After tea, we played with Angel's dolls. Angel's dolls were different to my dolls. Ready for bed, said Angel. Angel and me had a bath together. After bath, we cleaned our teeth. Angel's mummy helped me clean my teeth. I liked Angel's mummy. When we went into Angel's room, magic! Ping! My tiny bed was big. I could see Angel in her bed. Angel's mummy kissed me and Angel. Night-night. Night-night. Angel and me chattered. Angel stopped chattering.
the room was quiet. I looked at Angel. Angel was asleep. I want my mummy, I heard my voice say. I looked outside. Angel's mummy was watching television. I felt sad. Mummy might miss me. I wanted mummy to kiss me night night. Hey Tig, feeling sad shows how much you love mummy. Mummy will miss you too. But mummy wants you to have a big adventure. Mummy wants to have the fun of giving you a big, big hug when you come home again. Mummy wants to have the fun of hearing all about your time away. But Tig, you can go home whenever you want. Angel's mummy won't mind and Mummy won't mind. So do you want to go home? Oh dear, you're not sure, are you? Hmm. So just for now, pop back into bed and count up how many kisses your mummy gives you every day. Then count up how many kisses you give to your mummy every day. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I won't go home yet. So I counted how many times mummy kissed me and I... I woke up. It was daytime. I had slept all night at Angel's Angel, house. Angel, wake up. Angel, wake up. Ah! It's only a toy spider. I like staying the night with Angel. I love Willy. We've been guests to a The hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see Daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me, when Daddy told me up. I like the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mummy? That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds. Looking for their pyjamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet Come with on. strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. <laughs> Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy is still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. 
Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, diddly doo. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Whee! And then one day Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Right. I'll tell you the funny story about what happened. Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in the hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. And... Silly daddy hasn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. It's only a toy spider. <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my daddy. And I love Willie. We've been guesses to a The painting day. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a painting day. Willie came too. Are you having fun, Angel? I was excited. I liked painting. We painted lots. That is such a good picture. Do you need to go to the toilet, Tig? No, I said. I wanted to paint. Angel looked funny. She got paint on her nose. Your nose! Let me clean your nose. Let me see. And then I thought, I do want to go to the toilet. Hey, girls, come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. We had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Tig, are you OK there? Do you need the toilet? No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. The man was very clever. Yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. Daddy said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited, I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toilet. No, I said. I wanted to see the funny picture. Funny. A lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Oh! When the machine no I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. I didn't want to go to the new, big, smelly toilet. Hey Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're 
just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Whoosh! Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oof! All the outdoor spider! I love Willie. We've been together since we were we.